everybody, my name is Mindy. I teach at Alameda International. I teach honors chemistry and IB chemistry and conceptual chemistry. And this year is really tricky, especially since my three of my classes are not in chemistry classrooms, that I wanted to give the online students as much of a real experience as I could. So I've learned to put kids in Google breakout rooms. So when I have students in person doing a lab, then they have their online counterparts in a breakout room with them, and then the students have to work together to complete the lab. So, So what are you doing with your partners right now? So with my partners right now, since they're at home, I'm explaining the experiment and what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And um, they're asking questions and I need to answer them since, of course, I'm the one doing the experiment. Uh, so along with my explanations, I'm also giving them the formulas and they are also helping me when I get a little bit stuck with calculations. But I've done other labs where the students are actually at home giving the instructions to the person in person doing the lab. It will be a little different today. But I really want to have those students to get as much of a chemistry experience as possible. It's also tricky because I'm teaching chemistry in non-chemistry rooms, so I have to bring all the supplies and be safe and wear gloves and all those different kinds of things. So I'm sure everybody's dealing with the same kind of um, situation, or we probably all have different situations, but that's what I'm doing to get the students together. And then, okay. Water. And these, um, all the you can, so since they're all different, all they have to do is that makes one. So, the water is not as close as I can. So, sick things, nice. Okay. Then, number three says, how many sick things? I have 0.00096. I'm going to go over. Number. And so this is all you have your okay. So I haven't done that yet. Five, but I'll do that in a second. Nine, nine, seven, point nine, four. Where you can't get the number on the right, go to scientific notation. So 9.20 times 10 to the third. Now that's my three sig figs, and that's still 9,200. Okay? So you're going to be, and that comes up often in chemistry where you can't get it to the right number of sig figs. So I think I learned a lot today compared to what happened on Tuesday with the students. The students today were more involved and they helped each other out a little bit more. They took the time to show the steps and the sample calculations with the students that were online. So I think I'll take that into the future where I insist that the students that are hybrid are taking a little bit more time and explaining the directions a little bit better. Um, I really like the Google breakout rooms. It was a little bit, um, it wasn't even hard to set up, but now the students, I have it set in my Google Classroom so they know if I assign them to a certain room. So I can switch up partners, and get the, so they're not always working with the same partner, and they can um, work with each other when they're doing math problems. It doesn't have to just be labs, you know, so they can work on content or they can think pair share in those kind of groups. So I think, I've really enjoyed the breakout rooms and, and I actually split my classes into two where I have uh, when I'm doing a lab. So the students are doing a lab while I'm working with the other half of the students online and that has worked really well too. Well, thank you so much for all your work.